when Shota Nakajima is at work, an effervescent energy lights up the kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna use chopsticks to pick it up so it's super Japanese for you, by the way. I got you. I got you. Staying on brand. That happiness and positive spirit seems to bounce off the walls of Shota's restaurant, Taku. It's just something fun. It's it's bright. It, I want to bring something fun and bright to Capitol Hill. That's, that's all I'm trying to do. Originally, Taku was supposed to be a late night hangout, serving kushikatsu, deep fried skewers. Now it's reemerged with a delicious new concept, karage, Japanese style fried chicken. And I went to my mom's house because I go to my mom's house pretty often and she made chicken karage for dinner. And I was sitting there, I was eating it. I was like, I should just do this. Why not? This is delicious. I can eat this every day. The menu at Taku is designed to be simple and approachable. Nuggets, wings, the aptly named Effit Bucket, a heaping 150 ounces of perfectly fried food, and a sandwich that's quickly become a serious favorite. This is the Japanese chicken curry sando. Uh, it's between two buns. I have some Japanese kewpie mayo, cucumbers, uh, and some cabbage. The curry is a Japanese curry that I ate growing up. It's one of my favorite things, so it's just one of my favorite sandwiches. So please, come enjoy. It's perfect. It is complex and straight up delicious. That folks can come to Taku, that it has reopened, is the culmination of a year-long roller coaster ride for Shota. One that saw him deal with health issues and put his career on pause, shutting down Taku and his critically acclaimed restaurant Adana during the early days of the pandemic. As a boss, as a leader, I, I really didn't know how to direct people. I didn't know where I was going the next day. Um, I was having a hard time with that itself. I got the whole team together that we had and I asked him straight up, who wants to be here right now? And no one raised their hand, including myself. None of us wanted to be here. Closing was a gut-wrenching decision, but Shota says it gave him time to think about what he wanted to do and what makes him happy. He got a very good dog, a border collie named Dodger, and a phone call to appear on season 18 of Top Chef an experience that ended up being life-changing. I definitely left a different person. You just learn so much. You learn so much about cooking. You learn a lot about yourself. Overall, I, I think I've gotten better at um, being in uncomfortable situations and <laughs> being cool about it now too. <laughs> of course, Top Chef also introduced Shota to hungry folks from all over the country. And he's hoping to use some of that newfound fame to provide a boost to his neighborhood. Well, you know, I think, especially after last year, Capitol Hill has had this, you know, like, oh, it's hard to visit. Like, even my friends that are from out of town, they're like, is it still safe there? We know in Seattle, but I, I hope that this kind of gives me the opportunity to spread the word of, hey, like, we're all kind of getting back together. Capitol Hill, we're getting back together. Let's pump up this hill. Let's get some good energy in here. For Seattle Refined, I'm Brandon Bernstead.